Good morning and praise the Lord. What a day to live. This is a wonderful day because the Lord has given us this day. And every day is a gift from God. And so this day, let us hear the voice of God before we venture out into the world and start living. Now, we talked last, in our last meditation, we talked about uh, a promised land, uh, promised to Abraham by God, and uh, then through Abraham, the New Testament church also is so blessed with God's salvation that we too are promised a permanent dwelling place which we call heaven where we live with Jesus forever and ever. Now, in order to inherit this promised land, the heavenly places, we need to possess a different spirit than the spirit of this world. The spirit of the lower, this world is a spirit filled with sin and a spirit of fear and a spirit of uncertainty and a spirit of, uh, of, of, uh, of oppression and a spirit of jealousy and all kinds of sin. That is the spirit of this world. But those who expect to get into, enter into this promised heaven need to have a different spirit like Joshua and Caleb possessed in the Old Testament. You remember that story. Moses sent spies, 12 spies into this land that God has promised. You go and spy this land and find out how this land was. You remember that story. Out of 12, 10 leaders who went were so disheartened. They, said they gave a fantastic report about the land itself. It is certainly a land that flows with milk and honey. Oh, it is so cultivated, uh, uh, cultivation friendly. And uh, they brought uh, the fruit, uh, the grape clusters, which was carried by two people on a pole. And it, it was, so the f land is fantastic. As God said it would be. But they gave a very frightening, discouraging report about the people. They said, we saw giants there. We look like grasshoppers in front of them. There is no way we can go and possess that land. They will swallow us up. And there is no way that we can fight against these giant big, big people. And they brought such a, a bad report. There was only two who gave a positive report, Joshua and Caleb, who said, no, they may be giants, but remember who promised us the land, God Almighty himself, the creator. He will fight for us and he will give us the land. That is a different spirit. And that is a spirit you and I must possess. God did not say, you know, what did God say to the New Testament Testament believers. He said, if you, if you face a mountain in your life, he did not say you touch the mountain. He did not say a big, huge tree, if you want that tree to be moved, just uh, touch the, uh, the tree. But God said, you speak to the mountain by the name and authority of the Lord Jesus Christ and speak to this tree. You be uprooted from this place and be gone into that other place. It will happen. That is surmountable problems when you face. You don't panic. You don't pray. But you have the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ to speak to the mountain and speak to the trees. Don't bow down. The mountain we face in our country today you know, don't bow down, but speak to the mountain, speak to the bones as God commanded Ezekiel, who, uh, who was brought and dropped in the midst of a valley filled with the dry bones and a very dry. And God said, Ezekiel, son of man, speak to these bones. Speak to the bones. Caleb and Joshua 
That's what they were doing. Yeah, we may be, seem to be dead people in front of them, but that's not the truth. But we can speak to this mountain, this big looking people, and they will bow, not we. That is a different spirit. The ten spies spoke too much out of seven verses given for the reports, of which six were given to the ten, only were given uh, only one verse to the two spies. Yeah, the evil will speak too much, and they have much to speak. My friends, be watchful. There is a spirit that must live within you, like the spirit which lived in Joshua and Caleb. And out of two million people who started from Egypt, only two entered into the promised land, Joshua and Caleb. They possessed this different spirit from the world spirit. Because we don't speak by our own understanding, we speak by the revelation that God gives. For he is more than a conqueror, and so are we. That's what Paul said, we are more than conquerors in all these things, which otherwise look impossible. God bless you as you live a victorious life as a follower of Jesus Christ, because you have the Lord Almighty who conquered every forces that is imaginable. He is with you, and he who is in you is greater than he that is in the world. So may the Holy Spirit, O oh God, pour out upon us and pour out all the listeners of this meditation today. They may be encouraged to live victoriously in your name, for your name. Amen. God bless you.